G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today, we start working on the front end. So yeah, this is part five of the pre-war dry lake racer build. And um, the next part of this project is to get this thing rolling. So we're gonna start on the front end today, um, pull everything apart, see what I need to buy, and um, get that 32 axle cleaned up and painted. But first of all, so remember this guy, sometimes no amount of WD-40 or penetrating oil will solve your problem. So sometimes the only way to get things off is with a bit of heat. So there's a few things that will always keep this chassis uniquely AR, or very, very early Model A, or the first chassis made, is obviously things like that, where the side brake, handbrake is. It's not, that hole isn't on the later chassis. And all the bracketry is cast instead of steel. Well, pressed steel, so okay, all the little brackets are cast. So that's pretty cool. Keeps it, that little bit of history there. And that center cross member is different too. Not that you'll be able to see it once it's all together, but those holes are different to the standard model ways. And you know what, in all honesty, if this hadn't been cut up, where's that piece? Uh, over here. So, if this handbrake lever, the handle, hadn't been chopped off, I would still run this handbrake because um, even though it's, on a, it's going to be on the left-hand side of the car, it's still unique and very cool, but that's been cut off. Let me show you something on the cow. So as we look in the cow, if you look down here, on the very early Model A's, on the 28s, there's a plate here. And that plate covers the hole for the handbrake. So this um, would have been uh, just after the AR, so the first series of Model A after the AR, where they just covered the hole. And then after that, let me show you on the other cow, so this is the um, closed cowl that I'm going to use for the coupe. Now this is a 28, sorry, this is a 29 cowl and the reason I know that is because it's stamped on it. But if you look down here there's no hole. So yeah, because the handbrake was in the centre. A little bit of history, there you go. But I guess the cool thing, um, I'm not a restorer but I do love history and I like to preserve history, is that this cowl is the correct cowl for that chassis take away that little plate it is. So yeah, very cool. All right, so let's have a look at the difference between the Model A front axle and the 32. Here's the 32, I'll put it up next to it if I can fit it. See the, um, see it's got the drop, so that's gonna bring the front end down about two inches, which is pretty cool. <laughs> front ends out and hopefully try and find a good set of kingpins so on a model a they're not just a standard kingpin like the latter ones they have this cup up the top which is part of the brake activation so they're not cheap to buy they're available but they're quite expensive so if I've got a good set of pins all I've got to do is replace the bushes so you can see this one's pretty flogged and I don't like my chances finding a good pin but you never know We'll pull them apart, I've got um, two sets. We'll see if we can find a good set. So this front end, this is the other one, which I just remembered, is the original front end that came with that cross member and my engine. And it was a fairly low mile car. So, um, I'm guessing this is gonna be in better condition than the other one, because that's well and truly clogged out. So we'll pull this apart first, see what we've got, and any bits I need, I will source from the other front end. 
Sometimes things don't go as smoothly as you like. So instead of having cotter pins, this has got bolts that have been jammed through there. Definitely not factory. Not that I've seen, and the other one's different. Um, so I've got to try and unjam those. So they're not threaded in there, forced in. You can see the grooves. Let's see what we can do. Sometimes having an anvil comes in handy, other than uh, blacksmithing, that's for sure. Something good to bash against. This is going to take a bit of force, I think. to get a kingpin out is with another kingpin so this is that's a solid one model a's have a hole through the center for the rod the brake actuator rod fits in and um, works perfectly so let's get this guy out I think it's pretty loose so I think we're fine Here, Mark. <laughs> You know what? It's not too bad. It's got a little bit of wear, but um, I'm going to reuse it, I think. The bottom has no wear at all. A little bit up the top. That's all right. Fantastic. Watch those. The bushes are in there. See the brass. So you replace these guys. Cool. Get the other side out and we'll start cleaning things up. You know what's cool? You probably can't see it. Got a Ford written there, genuine original ones. Can't beat that. Well, now I've got a big box of bits that need cleaning and sorting out, so I'll be back when that's all done. So, I've been madly cleaning parts, which is boring. You don't want to see that. Um, I've got bits to water. Um, I'm painting a few things. I've even I even painted the chassis. Hang on a sec, I'll show you. Check it out. So the bottom's painted. Flip it over, paint the top. But it's looking pretty. That's in a nice satin. So I'm gonna wrap up this video now. I've been on holiday, so that's why I've been able to do a bit. But tomorrow I go back to work. So things will slow down just a little bit. I do have a tight schedule to get this finished and um, I'm fairly motivated. So yeah, I'll order some parts and the next time you see me, I should have a heap of painted, restored bits and pieces to put back together. Hopefully, the plan will be to have it rolling. So front end all ready to put back together, rear end all ready to put back together, springs, all the shackles and stuff like that. That's it for today. Stay tuned, be good to your mates, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Hey, if you haven't been in touch with one of your good mates for a long time, 
give them a bell, give, send them a message, say good day. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. I'm gonna do it. Anyway, that's it. Stay cool. See you on the next one. Cheers. Bye. Ah, oh, get out of it. Oh, oh. Oh, mate. Stop licking. Oh,